in the hell is going on with my church? Get cut, you get cut. I got a crawl up into that kingdom, into that good news. I got a crawl up into that kingdom, into that good news. I'm gonna this is very important that the right people are sitting at the head table. Let's see. Lasting liaisons have to be formed. Now, where am I going to put him? Well, certainly not at our table. Luther, I'm having trouble placing some of the people on your list. I've put the mayor next to Senator Hoshi, and I've placed the, the senator next to that retired boxer, what's his name? He has absolutely no power whatsoever. <laughs> Boxing is so crude. <laughs> Never mind. I'm going to place him in the back. Don't you dare. He is the reason why I am preaching today, and you will put him next to the councilman. You are going to be announcing your candidacy as a assemblyman for the 29th district. You have got to form some alliances. And that tired old boxer, he's not an ally. He's a hanger on her. Hmm. Well, know a lot about hanging on. Just do it, Wilhelmina. As you wish, as you wish. But I'm going to put people at the table in order of importance, not in the order of who has influence on your life. <laughs> if that were the case, I'd put your drunk uncle at the head of the table. I told you not to speak of my uncle. Oh, is his name so sacred? Huh, isn't he the one that killed your father? It was an accident. He was drunk. And driving. Drunks don't have accidents, dear. Leave it alone. Uh, and didn't he hate your father for stealing that little piece of land that the Stowalls have all where oil is pouring out of? And wasn't he the same uncle who had your mother put in a crazy house? Now you're trading on thin ice, woman. What's the matter? Scared, scared Mama Dubois will cut you out of her precious will. I get cut, you get cut, which is about as deep as your loyalty runs. All right, <laughs> I'll put your boxer at the head of the table. After all, there are 50 tables, lots of people will be there. Uh, you're going to be late for your meeting down at the church, Pastor Stowell. It's my everyday lifestyle. As the sun sets, I get dressed fresh and so clean. Diamonds bling from my chest with a sparkling gleam. Grab the bean block, safety lock, walk to my car. It's going down the night, falling and blossoming so hard. Every day of the week, jeans stay with a fresh twist. The baddest breezy's on my team. Riding with me, it's just a hood thing. Wood grain, diamond rings and chain swing. Gang bang, nut tang, burn the block rapidly. Black truck, dirty sluts, bitches all on my nuts at the same time. I'm looking for one to cut when I'm done. Raise up, time to bounce, roll out. Seven days a week, we keep it jeans in my zone. It's my everyday lifestyle, man. I don't know, man. We've all been getting money while I'm collecting dough. It's my everyday lifestyle. It's my everyday lifestyle. It's my everyday lifestyle, man. I don't know, man. We've all been getting money while I'm collecting dough. It's my everyday.
This one's better than a joke. They sent you up the river and it wasn't on a boat. They caught you on camera when you got back. Hey, honey's in hood. Look who's back. Head baller first step. You don't have your crew when you don't have your clock. Just a lower bunk on a level four block. And you better hope that you're not claustrophobic. Cause it's only sell and make you sweat like a rope. What's up? Man, where you been? You abandon the honeys. Nobody abandons the honeys. At least not without punishment. Chill. Glad you're back, Big Willie. But Rosa's got a point. Whoa, whoa, what's up? Where you going? Where you going? Man, you ain't finna walk up in here like we the Girl Scouts or something. We, we ain't selling cookies in here. Anyways, you never even finished your initiation, so technically, you ain't even a honey. Man, let's get this bitch. Rosa, I said chill. Nobody messes with Big Willie. You got that? Yo, I got this. I was in Juvie up north. I'm the one who got busted dealing drugs. When you get busted, Rosa, they don't let you go home to say goodbye. But you wouldn't know nothing about that now, would you? Yo, you play hard, but you soft. Bandito's is selling on the block again. Hoodies, honeys, handle your business. Man, Pep, we don't need Big Will here no more. Haven't I been good to you? Come on, Rosa. You know the Big Willie's my girl. But I've been your girl. I've been down with you all year. I mean, I love you, Pep. Just make sure the Big Willie becomes a honey, all right? Now go ahead and look for me, come on. Looks like Pepsi's chew toy is back. Yeah. What you gonna do now? You out. I ain't out. Man, I'm gonna bust her wide open. Matter of fact, I got a cousin that went to Juvie and Oak. I'm gonna tell her to ask around, see if Big Willie really who she say she is. She ain't gonna come up in here and mess up what I got on. I don't care. I'm with him now. She gotta find that out fast. Country. The freedom's about to be canceled, Big Willie style. You want to be a honey? Take care of this. Sorry. No, no, don't, don't. I, I'll pay you the money. I'll pay you the money. You'll have it before the end of the day. Okay, this is the deal. I spoke with the pastor about the new fire rules. He said that we could have anything we need to represent Grace United Community Church at this year's McDonald Gospel Fest. <laughs> Represent anything if the 
pet tenors don't learn that hard. Tenors is real simple. There's, come on in and have a seat. Come on in. There is a bomb in Gilead. There is a bomb in Gilead. There is a bomb in Gilead. That's, that's real simple. Hello, daughter who went up north, uh -huh, the boarding school. Well, she is coming back to do her senior year in high school here at home with us. What? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, amen. <laughs> my niece, Wilhelmina? She's right here. And you know what? She wants to be in the choir. Oh, my mm -hmm. goodness. Well, Wilma. Wilma, come on in here. Just come on in here. Meet the choir. You know, she wants to be in the choir. Oh, All my right. goodness. Wilma Lachey Starwell. Come on up here and give your uncle a big old hug. Oh my God, it's so good to see you. I'll pick you up after the choir rehearsal, all right? No need, Mina. I'll drop her off. Me and Miss Lachey got some catching up to do. All right, baby, then I'll see you at home. All right, bye, Mommy. Bye-bye, sweetie. Ladies and gentlemen, what you're about to hear is one of the finest things you've ever heard. She sounds like Whitney Houston and Aretha Franklin combined. Oh, I'm not lying. Now that she's in the choir with us, no disrespect, we're a shoe in to win that trophy. Okay. We got that. All right. Choir members, could you introduce yourself to Wilma? Well, I just call her Lachey. Come on, baby. Hi, I'm Natalia. Wanna? Now you know. Hi, I'm Natalia. Hey. Hi, I'm Natalia. Hey. Hi, I'm Natalia. Hey. Hey. Oh, oh, I forgot. We got a new member. He joined right before you came in. Well, that's Stella's son. Could you stand up and introduce yourself, please? Everybody's waiting, Pastor. I've already opened a meeting with a prayer. I've taken the liberty of outlining the agenda for the meeting. <laughs> we won't be needing that, will we? I hope we had to discuss the changes that must be made to the church's fiscal budget. Oh, excuse me. I need an additional thousand dollars for new choir robes. Why do you need additional money for choir robes? Because the choir has been invited to this year's gospel class and we can't possibly show up as a little tired road from last year. Have a bake sale, man. Excuse me? Come again? Dobson, not now. Pastor, it has come to my attention that monies in the church bank account have shown up missing. There's large withdrawals that I can't account for. I'm sure the money will show up by the next quarter. But that is not why I called you all here today. I called you here to announce that I am seeking a new assistant pastor. Another assistant pastor? Did you plan on clearance with the head of the deaconess hall? Or is this farce of a meeting your attempt for concession? Pastor, as head of the Deaconess Board, I must remind you, you need a two-third consensus of the church officers before you can make any additions to the staff. Yes, well, that was the system that my mother established, and that now will soon change. Okay, let's just say that I was led by the Holy Spirit, okay? How's that? Even the Holy Spirit needs a little guidance every once in a while. Now, Esther, that's just the devil talking. Each candidate will preach a trial sermon, and the church will vote. I, of course, will reserve the right to make the final decision. The new assistant pastor will preach his first sermon at my anniversary service. Our budget can't afford another assistant pastor. Find the money. I expect each of the church's officers to supply the candidates, with the new candidate ready to preach a sermon in two weeks. This meeting is adjourned. There's nothing wrong with those robes. Your mom picked them out herself. That's the problem. They're as old and dated as she is. 
Clarice Antoinette Starwell Dubois has her hands on everything in this church. And it, it you know, I'm gonna go about to go tell my brother who's really in control. Why is Luther looking for another assistant? I don't know. Luther. Okay, this is the deal. I'm gonna talk to him, and I guarantee there'll be some money for choir robes. Why do we need another assistant pastor? I don't have to explain myself to you. Yes, you do. You told me I was going to preach the anniversary sermon. Well, I'm grooming someone new for the pastorship. I am the assistant pastor, and I have been for the last five years. How are you just going to put somebody above me? I don't deserve this. Just don't cut it, Dean. As long as I've been here, you only let me preach twice. Luther, if you hire another assistant pastor, I quit. No, you won't. Because, see, I know where you go every Friday night. With the janitor. You know, a little certain bar. So, you won't go anywhere until I'm done with you. Matter of fact, why don't you do what I hired you to do? And go kill my mother. Then maybe I'll let you go. I know the Lord is here, I feel his presence near, the Lord is in this place, his majesty, his grace. desires be fulfilled. I want to know who is sleeping with my husband? You're Big Willie. I'm Big Willie. What are you gonna do? Yo, I got orders. You got orders. It's not personal. Just business. Just business. <laughs>
We're just trying to finish up some stuff here. You're the Reverend's daughter. Yeah. And you're Miss Dela Cruz's son. Yeah. Oh, I oh I see what's going on. I'll let you two lovebirds get back to what you were doing. I'll come back and clean this room later. Are we really gonna do this? In the charts too. Hey Vince, can I talk to you? What do you want? We gotta lay low for a while. Yeah, look, Dean, let me ease your conscience. It's over. Yeah, you introduced me to who I wanted to be with, and I don't need you anymore. But I thought we... Look, you thought wrong. And you're a confused man. Well, straighten yourself out. Don't you call me again. Boarding school? The infamous Big Willie goes to boarding school? Well, the second in command of the bandits is a choir boy? Yeah. We're real tough. Yeah. You know, uh, we met before. Where? Edge. At that beef in Jefferson Street Park? Mm. I remember that. It was before I went to Juvie. Yeah, a lot of people died that day. You had a knife. You was gonna cut me. But I didn't. You didn't. I guess you can say a life for a life. Why didn't you do it? You can't kill someone when you look into their eyes and fall in love. I knew right then and there we'd meet again. So, what do we do now? I don't know. But I want to do something I should have done that night. You know, it hasn't been that hard finding candidates for assistant pastor. <laughs> I thought it would be. And how are you handling being overlooked, Reverend Berkeley? Oh, I'm a team player. First Lady Stalwell is good for the church and the will of the Lord. <laughs> mm. Personally, I think you'll be a great pastor. So do I. First Lady Stallwell is on her high horse. The carousel with the rod up the middle. It's about time those Stallwells were taken down a pit. Good day, people. Thank you all for coming at Mrs. Dubois' request. I'm Shavis Brown, her lawyer and new personal assistant. I see the pastor is unaccounted for. Uh, he will be here, you, I assure you. Okay, well, that's great because I had a few legal matters to attend to. Well, the rest of Grace United Community Church is here, so you can still discuss your legal matters. As assistant pastor, I should conduct a meeting, right? Well, thank you, sir. What is this all about, Mr. Brown? Unpaid and delinquent church notes. That's impossible. I send those payments to the bank each month. Well, the bank has never received them. I haven't received a notice from the bank indicating that we're uh, delinquent. As an undersigned on the church's second mortgage, Mrs. Dubois receives those notices directly. I told the pastor not to take out a second mortgage on that church. Well, you know, Mrs. Dubois is very concerned and she thought that there should be a discussion on the matter. What in the hell is going on with my church? Good afternoon, Mother. Dominic. Where's my son, Luther? I specifically asked for him to be here. Um, I don't know, but um, I'm here. You're looking fabulous, Mother. It's amazing what a couple of days of this park can do. <laughs> Mr. Watt, 
Dominique, I'm trying to conduct business here. You know, I thought it was wise of my son to look for another assistant pastor. I've always felt that you were misplaced. You should have stepped a foot in my church. Yeah, I said it. Mr. Bois, you should be a little bit nicer than me. Hold on, wait a minute. Clarice, please. Because of your divested interest, it may become necessary oh, For God's sake, Bois. Charles, get on with it. What your lawyer is trying to tell you, Mother Dubois, is that the church is going through a few money challenges. Challenges, challenges. Is that like financially handicapped? Is that the new politically correct term for broke? What does that mean? Looking at these statements, the church would need a large financial drive to pay off the church's back mortgage. What time, what kind of time will we look at? One month. One month? One month? One month. Or we'll lose the church to the bank auction. <sighs> well, Mr. Boyd, the, the church is very vulnerable, meaning that your investments are in jeopardy. How could this have happened? I mean, why weren't the payments made to the bank? Clarice, do you mind? This is board business. Estella Jenna Cruz, you know nothing of business. Why don't you just sit there and try to look pretty? Or just try to sit there and obtain my former position with a little dignity and lots of humility. You can't stand the fact that I make a better cheer person than you. Clarice, I didn't want to tell you, but somebody's been stealing money from the church's bank account. We don't know where the money's going. Do we need another treasurer too, David? No, Mr. Walk. My husbands gave their heart and soul to this church. And I'm not, I'm not, I'm not about to let any sideshow two-bit auction rip my legacy away. Fix it, or I'll fix it for you. Oh, come down, Mother Dubois. Now you all have to understand and trust that my husband is capable of pulling this church out of the red. Why, after all, the good book says Shut that. up, Monia. Well, Mother, all I wanted to do was have my dear old brother just get some new choir robes. I didn't know he'd bring the church into a scandal. There is no scandal. What's wrong with the robes that I selected? My mother, we can't possibly use those same old tire robes from last year. They're so, um, passe. Dominic, you know, you have the best taste. <laughs> you know where I get it from.
over here. Do I have to, mommy? Yeah, go. Oh no, darling. I'm your mommy. That lady, she's just keeping you for me, all right? And mommy's gonna come back and get you real soon, okay? Yeah. Okay, now can I have a hug? Now you know, you can call me mommy now. Mommy. Oh, that's better. Let's go play. Can I go back and play now, mommy? Yeah, go play. You may be black man and you're taking my money, but that is my child. Well, maybe me and your daughter should pay a visit to your husband. No, 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 no. Maybe he'd like to meet his little stepchild. No, I'm sorry. I I'm sorry. Your hush money just got louder. Fifty grand or I will broadcast your little affair on the six o'clock news. And you'll never see Willa again. Oh, no. no Come on, Willa. Don't, don't. Come on. Come on. No, don't. Don't take my child. Not my baby. Don't take my baby. Berkeley introduced me to Dominique last night. It's gonna take some deep cover, but I think I can get into their game. I still don't have an idea when that ship is coming in, though. Damn it. Did you contact the lieutenant? Yeah. Put that on. Get the strike team ready? Yeah. Well, so many questions. What's your problem, man? Come on, test your mic. Come on. Testing. Testing. Salani. Man. Ah, uh, dude, what are you thinking? I told you she was in town so you'd stay away from her. Man, I had to see her. Malik, what if somebody saw you? You could have blown your cover, all right? You could have blown mine. Nobody saw me. Look, I know you love her. You can't be taking chances like that, all right? I got way too much... I'm way too deep into this case for you to be doing stuff like that. Are you preaching to me? Let's just keep our eyes on the prize, okay? Sorry, man. It's just that she thinks I'm scum, man. What are you doing here? Heard you were back. Now you see. Come on, you look good. Mommy, well, I, mean, I missed you. Well, that's the side effect of going to prison. When they let you out. A week ago. Um, I'm sorry. You're deep cover, dude. Yeah. Look, your job's going to prison and flush out the real street scum. Now, if Lynette can't see why you're that Ivy League high self esteem lawyer turned undercover cop, I just don't know what her problem is. I mean, heck, you've only been in, what, six prisons? You're crazy, man. I just wish I could tell her. You'd put her in danger. Yeah, I know. It tears me up. Hey, think about your old buddy Vince, huh? At least you got a girl. Yeah, she may kick you to the curb, but at least you got her. Now, me? I had the strange sensation to shave my legs the other day, huh? So if you ever, uh, you know, get down that whole woe is me feeling, we could switch. I'll cry over Lynette, then you go kiss that old ugly Sasquatch drag queen. How about that? No, thanks. I've already cracked this case. Yeah, man. Let's go check out Lenny. Neighborhood snitch. That's right. If anything's going down, you'll know about it. Mm -hmm.
go to the back. Thing is making me sick. Darling, please. Mm -mm -mm. I've seen beers with better heads and chickens with bigger. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Look at here, look at here, look at here. All you cats, are you ready for the one, the only, the ultimately fierce Miss Dominique? You had the nerve to bring me this? The banditos are back. They've been on our turf, taking our business. Look, the banditos are no concern of mine. That little Mexican game was your business. What is a concern of mine is that you have my money, and that when I give you merchandise, that you make sure it's taken care of. Do you understand? Maybe it's that you don't want to work for me, is that it? Is no, that it? No, ma'am. I mean, yes, ma'am. Yes, Miss Dominique, I want to you work for you. You know what? I should do to you what I did to the last person that didn't want to work for me. No, ma'am, you shouldn't. No, Miss, Miss Dominique, it's not his fault. I mean, Edge is a new, an Edge has taken over for the banditos. And, I mean, he's tough. I mean, Big Will was supposed Shut to Shut up! I mean, she was supposed to take care of it. Big Willie? She was, but the cops came. You know what? I'll speak to Big Willie myself. But what should I have to do that for? That's why I have you. I have a shipment coming in tonight, and I don't want any more problems. You make sure that my merchandise is pushed out and is pushed out correctly, and don't you ever come here again short. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. Now pick that up. Now be gone.
the Lord. Praise the Lord. My brother. Miss Lynette. <laughs> Miss Lynette. You got a real piece of work. The start to believe your own hype. Praise the Lord. What about it? When you gonna move? Get off my couch. When you not going anywhere, we stand right here. Maybe taste a piece of that sweet tea. What do you say about that? I was just talking about you know, the pig team. Me, you, Luther. Don't ever let Lynette's name pass through your lips again. You got me? My name is Dean. Okay, Miss so. Dean it is. Dean it is. But you know, we said we're going to go here back, you know? Back to the island. Rikers, that is. Hi, hi. Just don't piss me off. Listen, look at that. Didn't I have to bump off? They won't reach a man. Hey, ain't that going to help you bump off? Your wife? All you think is. Do something to do the same thing. I was thinking about that. You backing out? You don't know, usually back out the jobs. I never had respect like that before. When I walk in that church, I'm somebody. And I'm dating the pastor's sister. A beautiful. That's some crackhead hoe trying to stab me in the back. I don't think I'm ready to give that up. A word of caution, this son. Vegan or whatever your name be. That book to either of you, boy. If I were you, I would watch out for thee. The Lord is in this place, His majesty is great. I know the Lord is here, I feel His presence near. The Lord is in this place, His majesty is great. I know the Lord is here. I feel his presence near. The Lord is in this place. His majesty is great. I know the Lord is here. I feel his presence near. The Lord is in this place. His majesty is great. I know the Lord is here. I feel his presence near. The Lord is in this place. His majesty is great. No. 